So for today, we're going to be looking at the TWAB, specifically the Iron Banner TWAB, which I am actually pretty hyped that I was actually correct on a lot of things. And not correct, but most mostly just like asking for these changes, which is really wild because I literally posted this video, what, like a few hours before the TWAB came out. And obviously, I have no pull with Bungie. I, I barely have, I barely, like I'm below 2,000 subscribers. So obviously, I have no pull. So this was pretty funny to me. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. I say this because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So again, do me a favor, subscribe if you like the video, and let's get into it. So we're gonna be reading off the Iron Banner uh, TWAB. We're, I'm gonna have some gameplay in the background just so you guys don't get bored. But I will have the actual stuff on the screen as well if you want to read along. So Iron Banner 411. More Iron Banner is on the way next season. This time sans rift to talk about more what's on the horizon we got we got principal designer alan blaine here to dive a little deeper into what's next in iron banner and crucible realms take it away alan hi everyone now that iron banner is officially wrapped for a season of the haunted let's talk about what we've learned as well as plans for the next season and the future First up, we're adding the ability to guild the Iron Lord Seal with the next batch of matches in Valis, Forge, ugh, Valis Forge's honor. As for what else is new in Season 18, let's talk about streaks. When we started working on Season 18's Iron Banner, well before we launched Rift, we knew we, want, we wanted to come back to something more familiar after a season of objective-based gameplay. Some of you have been asking to play Clash in Iron Banner for a while, so we decided to start there. With that aside, we still need that Iron Banner twist, the thing that makes it feel unique. The core vision started with a conversation that sounded like, what if when you went on kill streak, Saladin shouted, he's on fire, and you lit on fire. And maybe when you get a kill, he shouted, boom, shakalakalaka. And from that chaotic conversation, Eruption was born. What is Eruption? Eruption is Clash with energy boost based on kill streaks. It was affectionately called Streak Mayhem internally before we gave it a real name. During Eruption, killing your opponents scores one point and a normal amount of energy. After that, when you get a second elimination in a row without dying, assist count two. I don't think assist should count, but okay. You become surging. You start slightly glowing. Kills start generating 10% super energy and 20 percent grenade melee and class energy you score three points per kill wild when you get your fifth kill without dying then you become primed you begin glowing brightly your team goes on the hunt everyone on the team gains five percent super and ten percent grenade melee and class energy you now gain 12 percent super and five percent grenade melee and class energy per kill you score three points per kill sounds great right so who wouldn't want to be primed? Well, you also have a 15 second timer on you. And if the timer reaches zero, you erupt. Erupting kills you, which resets your streak and ends the hunt. Getting a kill resets the eruption timer back to 15 seconds. You are then marked for both teams so everyone can see where you are. The other team gets three points for killing you. Choices. More than one player can be primed at a time. We are excited to get eruption into everyone's hands and we hope every, uh, we hope it continues to illustrate our desire to bring new and unique experiences to Iron Banner and Crucible. One of the things we learned with Rift this season is that is if we have a brand new game mode like the most recent iteration of Rift, intro introducing it to everyone in high focus environment first highlights inevitable issues that any multiplayer game has. Instead, we are going to be moving forward with the zone control plan, introducing it as low pressure crucible labs first to make sure it performs as intended in real world setting. Then and only then do we bring the new game mode to Iron Banner, albeit with a unique twist. We will definitely come back to control and rift for Iron Banner in the future, but expect a, sim a familiar mode with a unique experience in season 19. In the meantime, let's talk rift. So. That's really cool. I really like the idea of this wild game mode. I think it's going to be wild. It definitely is going to be wild. I do like the kill streaks. Definitely super cool. Um, I really don't have anything negative to say. I think, I mean, personally, I, I, I'm not a game dev, but I think it would have been really cool if instead of resetting your, your streak, 
after the 15 seconds, not only do you have to like, you would have to prioritize as many kills as you can get. But let's say if you died while you were uh, not surging, what was it called? Primed. Uh, okay, let me let me let me let me paint a picture for you guys. Let's say I got primed. I have those 14 or 15 seconds of just basically being able to to kill stuff. I'm getting getting so many kills, trying to get as many kills as I can. I would have liked liked it if by the end of those 14 seconds. If I didn't go to a specific node in the map and dunk my primed energy out, then those kills, like let's say I actually died from my primed state, all those kills would will be null and void. So that way, there's like consequences to actually going more than you need. I think that would have been a lot cooler because then at that point, the other team could come back and be like, "Oh, we need to kill that guy before he can he can dunk his energy out." If you do dunk and there's enemies around, then kind of like Rift, where when you dunk and anyone who's defending that place dies and is added to your kill streak. So I think that would have been a lot cooler, but I still think this is going to be super dope. I really am excited for this one. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But think Rift, make, but make it Crucible. Rift won't be in Iron Banner for Season 18, but that doesn't mean this game mode is gone forever. Most of you will be happy to hear that Rift will now have standard overtime rules for those who may not know what exactly that means overtime is that added time put on the clock to give teams a shot at breaking any tie that may be in place it also gives us titans a fair shake to just go ham with those fiery hammers and hope for the best just being honest alan is back with even more details about what players can expect including lessons learned from rebirth from the rebirth fire and banner Season of the Haunted ushered in a new era of Iron Banner, starting with Rift. While the first week had a rocky start, by the end, many players were starting to develop new tactics and strategies for the mode, and the weekend games were some of the closest and well played. Then the second week rolled out, and we fixed most of the bugs, and everyone had a great time, right? We all know that change can be hard, especially unexpected change. Communica communicating changes that we don't know will work out. Communicating future plans when there's no hard date. And balancing between opposing player bases all contribute to the complexity of PvP verse in Destiny 2. But this is the wonderful conundrum we are committed to. For now, this is what we're happy to share with players. And we think a lot of the information is going to be exciting for many of you. Time for some fun data. 1.5 million players played at least one match of, of Rift, and over 300k of you managed to reset your rank, and 150k reset it twice. I am part of that. We definitely hit a few people just right. One player reset their rank 17 times last season. That's super gross. And another player, another played over 133 hours of Rift during season 17. That's super gross. Uh, the community was also able to expose some flaws in the mode. We've already had a number of fixes go live in Rift, like making it so games ended properly if a spark was dunked late or that the spark would always be picked up. We also made a few tuning changes, such as when we add a three score mercy rule, as well as when we dropped the base mode time to eight minutes. The number of matches that fully went to time dropped by 10% and we went from having no mercy criteria to one third of matches ending in, in mercy that's pretty cool one of my favorite things about the new era of iron banner is the new rules we are going to be bringing in each season while rift won't be in iron banner next season it will be in a weekly rotator in crucible which is super cool available to play week 1 8 and 14 as well as private match yo private match is where you can play any map you want even the unbalanced and asymmetrical maps Alongside the more standard overtime rules, we also expect multi-spark to return in the future season. Ooh, AFK protections have been updated to utilize rift specific events. Later this season, we fixed a bug that didn't allow you to always immediately dunk the spark if you picked it up too close to the rift. For future seasons, explorations with 3v3 rift, that sounds super fucking cool, allows use to Allows use of smaller maps like Wormhaven, may also allow us to use slightly asymmetrical maps like Burnout. Fixing scenarios where one team can play keep away with the spark longer than intended, lessening the black screen time after scores. Further measures to discourage over killing farm. So that is the, the Iron Banner twab guys. 
I'm really happy that I what I wanted came because I really did want Clash and I hope to God this comes out like polished when it first comes out because we don't not, we don't need another see uh we don't need another rift uh season or not season a uh, rift week one is what i'm trying to say we don't need another one of those so hopefully bungie like nails it out of the park it is cool that they're gonna bring it in tr in uh labs first i think that's super smart but other than that we also have i don't know why they chose these three weapons but we have arbalist sweet business and racking up for ornaments i think we talk a lot about destiny 2 fashion but the threads of light aren't limited to armor what's a good look without the appropriate accessories am i right we're excited about the new weapons and other gear on the way but we think it's time for a few more uh, familiar pieces of equipment to get a makeover even better we want you to decide which ornaments become a reality even better than that the designs behind the pro proposed ornaments will be created by an artist within our community of destiny 2 players that are pure magic when it comes to bringing the game into the real world through art so my only complaint is rat king already has like two or three ornaments sweet business also has like two or three ornaments and arbalist just got an or uh, another ornament this season and it's like one of the best ones so i don't know why we're getting weapons that already have more than one ornament when we have exotics that either don't have an ornament or only have one ornament so that's like my only complaint i guess you could say i don't really care too much because whatever like it's a skin but yeah let me know what you guys think uh that's pretty much it. i'm not gonna go through the whole tab because quite frankly nothing else interests me so yeah let me know what you guys think about the new game mode that's being introduced next season my i think the only thing i would love to see is if we had multiple game modes within one season i think that would be great and i definitely agree that they should have they should either go back to how it used to be for Iron Banner, where it was like, what, four four times a week? Or four times, four times a week, four times a season, or something along those lines, because I think two is way too low. Four, I think, is just fine, because then you can do Rift, you can do Eruption, you can do Control, and then for the last one, you could do Labs, which I think would be super cool, because then at that point, we get a little taste of what it, what's going to be the next game mode. Uh, I think that would be really cool. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me again, links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point and I'll see you guys later.